It's amazing. What? Our master, Yeshua, Jesus went through. Do you understand that in the home <clears throat> that he was raised with, brothers and sisters whom he basically raised. If you realize Joseph was not in the picture for a while, and he had brothers and he had sisters, he, he was the first. And um, you understand, and this is what, just think of it a little bit. If all the miracles he performed, with all the signs, with all the wonders, his brothers did not believe in him. You understand that? You sure you understand that? Make it worse. Do you know, Mary knew that she was pregnant, not by a man. Mary spoke to the angel Gabriel. She gave birth to a son called Jesus. And do you know she did not believe in him? Hmm? She did not believe in him. So you see, if there was one person who should have believed, it would be his mother Mary. And he quote this scripture, he say, a prophet is not without honor, except in his home. It was only after he resurrected from the dead they believed. So you see what it took his family to believe? Him dying for three days and being raised from the dead. And then we believe we can save the whole world. <laughs> eh, eh. Do you understand that Judas walked with Jesus for three years? Judas was one of the first disciples. Just James and Judas. Mm. Yeah, that's why. That's why. And yet, all those miracles, all those signs, Jesus taught Judas, he told him, he, and Judas still betrayed him. <laughs> Sold him for 30 pieces of silver. Do you understand in the book of John chapter 6 that after his disciples had been with him for all this time, he had sent them all two by two, 72 of them. They performed signs and wonders in his name. That when he preached, I am the bread of life, the Bible say, at that time, many of his disciples left him and would walk with him no more. And what did he do? What did he do? He turned to the twelve and said, do you want to go too? You're free to go. Even when they were leaving him. You know, Jesus never begged anybody to serve him. Never. So here it is. Everybody who comes to revive the heart ministries, we never ask people where they're coming from, where they're going to. We say, welcome. And everybody who go, we say, well go. I know Jesus never begged anybody. Never. Never. He said, do you want to go to? Peter said, hey, where, where, where are we going? We have come to understand and to believe that you have the word of life. We are going nowhere. 
So welcome, all of you. And those who will be leaving us, well go. Well go. <laughs> because it seems people come and yeah, make sure, because it seems like people come expecting so much from you. They want you to move mountains and then for them to go back to the mountain and say, come to me. I have somebody that can take you out again. Hmm? They come to you and they want you to do, they want you to almost give birth to them again. And they do nothing for themselves. And then they will disappear. They will say, you can. Oh. Yet revive the heart ministry. We believe in the word. We believe in empowering people to do what on their own they cannot do. So we give everybody a chance to handle their business as we empower them to handle it. You see, we are not Democrats here. I mean, we're not Labour Party here. And we're not workers. That means we're not politicians. We're not Republicans. We don't buy votes. That is, we don't buy in you to come here. If you come, it's because you see something here that you desire. Some of you sit down there and say, huh, what, who are you sending that for? <laughs> don't worry about it. Everybody knows they, they, they sell. Who the cap fit? Where it? Uh, no, but, but honestly. You know what people, why? They like, blessed be the name of the Lord. And thank God for those who do it. You see? But people take advantage of certain things. Of the good heart of people. Like they take advantage of the good heart of Roosevelt Skerritt, the Honorable Prime Minister. Because he like giving. And they take advantage of the system. Though this American system is set up to keep them in bondage anyways. They stay poor so the government can give them food stamp. And they live on food stamp all their life. This is a messed up mentality. You cannot live on food stamp all your life. And I'm speaking spiritually. You cannot live all your life somebody having to lay hands on you and say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Today you come back in Jesus' name. We cast out um, Zephyr. The next week we cast out Zikiah. The other week we cast out Zinamaya. The next week Zephyr come back. We say, what are you doing there? No, I thought I cast you out four weeks ago. And then we come and we go home. Never read the word of God. Never by meditate in the word of God. Never listen to what was preached. Doesn't pray and come back next Sunday. Um, Pastor, I have a situation. Yeah, if you ask me my phone number, I will give it to you. But I will not answer it. Is the eye strong? Yes, Sister Sylvia. I will not, because you come in here and I empower in you to go home, to pick up the word and meditate in it. But you refuse to. There are too many pastor killers around. I, my, my pastor, Pastor Judah Valerie, love him dearly. One day I said to him, Pass, I look at his WhatsApp. Why? Why look contact? Ba, 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 ba. And he said, He have a. You have to meet that person. You have, I say, pass. Oh, pass. Mm -mm. I say, pass. When they finish a view, they will just look for somebody else here. He said, it didn't take too long. Both he and his wife broke down. I think he even he found himself in hospital at that time, and he had, they had to take some time off. And he put some restriction on the scores. 
These people will destroy you if they just suspect you have a little something. Not just me alone, even all you. They will suck all you like leeches. <laughs> eh? They will do nothing to help themselves, but they will be on you. It's you they want. Yeah, no, don't allow it. Don't allow it. Everybody needs to do what it takes to help themselves. Even if it's a little bit. The Father gave us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a helper. He's not a do it for you. Ah. He's a helper. That means you have to be doing something for him to help you with it. And if you think you can just pull up there doing nothing, and when he comes, he, he'll help you do what? He'll do, help you do nothing. He's a helper. Whatever you are doing, he's going to help you do it. It's nothing, so he'll help you do nothing. Yeah. You, you pull up, he pull up. He help you pull up. So it means that every one of us have a requirement to do something so that the Holy Spirit can help us do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't get vexed when I don't answer your, your call at 6.19 a.m. Huh? You're calling me at that time for? Why are you calling me at that time for? 6.19 a.m. I don't answer your call. You will not kill me. I have a blocker. That is my responsibility to protect myself. When I give myself here, on Sundays, do I live here? No, I stay up there. Anybody that wants to talk to me, talk with me. And I talk with a few people. On Tuesday night, when all of you leave, that's when I go. Friday night, when everybody go, that's when I go. So you have me Sunday, you have me Tuesday night, you have me Friday night, you have me sometimes Thursday, yeah? eh? and then Saturday. And you still want me at 6.19 a.m., Six nineteen AM September twenty six. Hmm? You wicked. It's wicked, you wicked. Mission stay, thank you, sister. Mission stay, you mission stay. Can you say say nobody will kill my bro Evo? Thank you. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, you have to talk for yourself. <laughs> you have to talk for yourself. Uh, 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 Bruce, I hear your wife say nobody will kill my yeah, Bruce. I, I take it what you're saying. Uh -huh. So I, I take it what you're saying. I listen very carefully. Yeah, because people sometimes get the wood after service too. Good and proper. And it seems like everything's going well when nothing's going well. So I listen very carefully. <laughs> A servant of the Lord has to protect himself or herself. I want you to understand that. Not because God using you to let people destroy you. We have time we will give to the children of God. But we also have... Uh, Sometimes my wife does say, you go with your, your wife up there. It's, she needs me too. My children need me too. I have work to do too. Hmm? So when we're not in, and I, I mean, if an emergency come up, I understand. Emergency is emergency. I know. I will not tell you how I know the emergency. Don't ask. I will never tell you. Because you'll use it all the time. <laughs> huh? But I just know when to take the call. I just know when to take the call. Emergency, I will take it. But I will know when, to, when it's emergency and you really need me. But then again, I know that our people here, it will take plenty 
for them to pick up that phone and call me. I know. I know. Thank you. Yes, yes. Huh? I said, oh, it will take plenty. I know it because the people here receiving the word. Yeah, it will take plenty. So those of you we tell welcome. When we welcome you is to sit down there and eat from the tree of life that will empower you. That you will not have the need to call on somebody and say, I need help. And so be empowered. But you have a part to play. Stop being a church goer. Just want to be walking in church. I go in church. I hear the healing people there. Let me see what I go and get there. Oh, that one don't work. Huh? I hear the other place doing it. That pastor doing it. But what, what, what are we? Are we charm? Are we magicians? Are we gathered Zafir? Hmm? That one, I went there. I don't think he's, he's not working there. Uh, but I hear Pastor this. He good. You know, so you say it. He, I hear he good. I mean, people come here telling me, they're yeah, good. I say, what? What do you mean, I good? All you just see, I just hide. I just try not to just look my people and then move it. I just do the thing. Yeah. I just make sure I let Brosie do it because they see Brosie. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Brosie. I mean, this is what he is. He, he playing his role. That's his role. And he playing, he playing it. He doing it very, very well. Exceptional in his role. But yes, Kishma, he too have to protect himself. Hmm? He have to protect himself. If somebody say, oh, I need pastor to call me, I send Bruce the number, I say call that person. That doesn't mean he have to call the person. It doesn't mean that. The fact that I send you the, the number and say call that person, you already know I, I protected me. So you protect yourself. Send the number for girlfriend. <laughs> Sister G, call that person there. <laughs> the things we do is, is not easy what we do as believers. And um, I must say, you all are awesome people. You all are the most awesome people in Dominica. And there is no murmuring, begging about it. I thank God for you all. Amen. You all are the hardest working people in the spiritual things in Dominica. Maybe in the Caribbean. Thank you, Sister Ivan. Eh? And I know I just work all you. Oh, God. I thank God for you all in Jesus' name. May God continue to bless you all in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You know, those of you who come ready to go on the street on Sunday and I say, no, go home, go home. Uh, I know some of you were a little disappointed, but uh, I had to other things to, to handle, to go and deal with. Huh? So, may God continue to bless you all in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Your hard work will not go unnoticed. You understand that? I remember to pray with me for everyone, Lord. I know hard work doesn't bring people to heaven. But the hard work these people are working for you, do everything in your power that their soul will never be lost. And guard your heart. Protect yourself. If you have to protect yourself with people living with you, much less for people outside. Hmm? 
and tell them. They, those who come to Revive the Heart Ministry, don't go and tell people they are members of Revive the Heart Ministry. Revive the Heart Ministry, they are members. We don't have members there. We never ask anybody where they're coming from, and we never ask anybody where they're going to. You can all come there three times and say, he's there, he's there, he's there. Three times. This is a message, so others will know. Boy, don't play with Mr. No. Stay, because Mr. put in all the business on YouTube. So if you think you're going, you're getting a chance to go and start spreading rumors about Revive the Heart Ministry, i starting to put it outside there. Eh? Thank God for YouTube. <laughs> I don't trust people. Hmm? <clears throat> don't trust. And please don't trust people. Especially when you say they're very nice. Very nice. Give me your number. You want my number? Yes. You looking for my trouble? Yes, I want your trouble. Okay, well, look my number. Then you get my trouble now. I, I have one here is my trouble you're looking for. Hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bray. What's up? Hi there. Right. You finish? Yes, man, I don't. I don't. The message is. I send the message out loud and clear. Loud and clear. God is good. We have to protect, revive the heart ministries. We have to protect ourselves. We have to do everything. I, I, I always thank God. <coughs> when he gave, put that policy in place where we, we do not ask people where they're coming from and we do not ask people where they're going to. And then later on he tell me, this is what will protect, revive the heart ministries. Absolutely nothing they call membership. So everybody who came freely, when they think it's time to leave, they can leave freely. They can leave freely. So nobody don't leave with uh, breaking down the building first. Eh? Think they own half and they own peace there. And I put, <laughs> okay. I put that chair. <laughs> I put that chair. Uh, the, the mic that there is mine. <laughs> yeah. uh, me, nobody can say that. You come freely, you receive freely, and then you give freely. When you're ready to go, you go freely. No stress. And if you want to come back one day, you come back freely. And then if you want to go again, you go again freely. No stress. I thank God. The policy, the Lord God put this policy in place. Yeah, he put this policy in place. And it is protecting us. Sunday, that is another thing I can, I, I'm 